Welcome to Parna Garden. There are many benefits of raised bed gardening. A raised bed that is about 1.5 to 2 feet tall will be ideal for people with back pain because they don't have to bend as much. While growing in a raised bed, you will spend less time pulling weeds out. Gardening in raised beds prevents soil compaction because you won't be walking on the soil and it provides good drainage. For all these reasons, raised beds are great for growing vegetables and flowers in a small backyard garden. You can build raised beds using many materials such as wood, concrete, metal or even plastic based on your budget and preference. Here is an example of a raised bed built in 2015 using cinder blocks or concrete blocks. The advantage of cinder blocks is that you can just place them on the ground and quickly build a raised bed. And they last longer than wood. However, because they are not held together by anything, gravity and weight of the soil can push down on them and create gaps between the blocks, especially in a garden area that slopes just like mine. This requires some realignment to close the gaps every season. This raised bed is made up of two layers of cinder blocks and this gives me a good working height. So I don't have to bend a lot. The next bed I have in my backyard was built in 2016 using untreated lumber bought from hardware store. It is not very high but it still helps in controlling weeds. What you see here is a two feet tall keyhole shaped raised bed under construction. I built this in 2017 and it was also built using untreated lumber bought from hardware store. I started off this raised bed by clearing the ground of grass and weeds and then I leveled the ground, placed the first level of lumber and joined them together using galvanized screws. I then placed some hardware cloth or wire mesh on the ground. On top of the wire mesh, I placed some cardboard. Because it was going to be a two feet tall structure, I filled it up to a good height with layer of twigs and garden waste on top of the cardboard. I then topped off the raised bed by adding compost, premier sphagnum peat moss, perlite and azomite rock dust and mixing them well. After about a year of growing vegetables, the level of soil went down by 4 to 6 inches. So I have topped it off again as you can see here. The other thing I have done on this bed is added irrigation, drip irrigation as you can see here. The one thing that was common in the three raised beds you saw till now was that I had to spend money to buy the materials required for constructing these raised beds. It does not always have to be that way. This year, that is in the year 2018, I'm constructing a raised bed with some wood logs that are lying around in my backyard. These wood logs were delivered last year by Chip Drop along with the wood chips that you can see here. And I'm going to use these logs to construct a raised bed. The location for this raised bed is at the north end of the garden by the fence. Not an ideal location for growing sun loving vegetables. But I can try to grow vegetables or plants that love partial shade or the plants that can climb up the fence and reach out for additional light. I cleared the ground of grass and weed seeds and loosened the clay soil like you see here. Thereafter I removed this soil from this location and placed a hardware cloth on the ground 
This helps to discourage critters from making burrows and reaching the raised bed from underneath. The ground had a slope, but I did not level it. I'm just going to place the wood logs along the slope in a rectangle shape and form the raised bed structure. This is how it looks like after the wood logs are placed. Next, I'm going to fill this raised bed with different materials to form the growing medium. I placed a layer of cardboard on top of the hardware cloth as it helps to block sunlight and prevent the growth of any grass or weed roots or weed seeds that may still exist on the ground. I placed a layer of vegetable scraps from my kitchen on top of the cardboard. I reused the clay soil removed from this location earlier to cover these vegetable scraps. Eventually, the vegetable scraps will decompose and provide nutrition to the plant roots. The other ingredients used to fill this raised bed were mushroom compost, organic planting soil from Costco, coarse premium grade perlite to provide better drainage in the soil, sphagnum peat moss as it helps to loosen the soil and retain moisture, and azomite rock dust used to replenish trace minerals. After adding all the items shown earlier into the raised bed, I used a pitchfork to mix them well. That is how I constructed a raised bed using wood logs already available in my backyard. It got dark by the time I completed this raised bed and I apologize for the lower visibility towards the end of this video. Recently, a friend of mine had requested me to upload a video on raised bed. I hope this video is helpful for that friend and also for all the viewers of Parna Garden channel. If you like this video on raised bed, please hit the like button. Also subscribe to Parna Garden channel to get notified of video uploads in the upcoming growing season. Thank you for stopping by. Enjoy gardening.